Okay, here's how to operate the D5 or the D4 uh, Walesco steam engine. Uh, for this demonstration, we're going to use a fuel burning rod instead of the tray. But for all intents and purposes, uh, the, the burning tray, you'll actually use four Esbit tablets and you'll uh, arrange them inside here, two of them laying down, two of them standing up, and then you'll go ahead and light it on fire. But before you do that, um, you want to take the steam whistle off, completely off, and fill your engine up with uh, three quarters of the way with warm water. Uh, with the D4, you're going to have to guesstimate how far up three quarters of the way is, but you want to get at least three quarters of the way up with, with warm water. The hotter the water, the better, because it'll take it uh, less time to get up to steam. Then you go ahead and replace the steam whistle and tighten it up by hand as tight as you can get it. After you've added the water, what you want to do is pull the piston off of the flywheel right here. You'll remove the piston out and place a drop of oil on the piston itself, just regular three-in-one machine oil, and place a drop in the cylinder and a drop on the flywheel on both sides and one drop on the top of the piston area here where this moves up and down. Then go ahead and put it all back together. Okay. Um, the parts of the steam engine are of course the steam whistle here, the pressure relief valve in the back. You want to make sure that that's good and tight. Uh, the pressure relief valve will leak some water out of the top but it won't leak steam. Um, then of course you've got the flywheel, the piston, and the uh, pressure uh, line there. The fuel tray, once it's lit, you're going to slide into the fuel tray receptacle all the way and as it starts to burn you can pull it out a small amount. There's little holes on the side here that line up with holes on the side there and when you start to pull it out it'll actually burn hotter and you can control the temperature a little bit by doing that. Uh, make sure that the, the steam whistle is off all the way and good and tight and then go ahead and light your tablets. Now like I said for this case here I've designed a, a oil burner that, that actually goes in there and um, you'll wait for uh, for the pressure to start building up. You'll hear the water boiling on the inside a little bit and the way to check the pressure periodically is just, just to open up the steam whistle and you'll be able to tell if it's got pressure or not. So from this point until the point that the water is boiling to where you can use it is usually three to five minutes. Um, once the tablets are, are in there and they're going up pretty good, it'll, it'll take about five minutes for the engine to uh, reach pressure. So at this time I'm going to go ahead and turn the video off and start it back up when, uh, when the pressure has been reached. Okay, so once we're up to pressure, you can tell by turning the steam whistle on and you'll have steam coming out of there and whistling. And once you do that, then you just go ahead and give the, the flywheel a flick until it starts to go. There will be some condensation building up in this tray here, which is normal. And that's the operation of the steam engine. You use the pressure, the steam whistle, to relieve pressure, to get it to slow down. And the Esbit tablets will run about uh, eight minutes total. Um, you shouldn't have any problem worrying about running out of water, but you want to make sure that there's plenty of water in it every time you use it because you don't want to burn the boiler up. And that's how it's run. When you get done, you can go ahead and uh, remove the tray and blow out the flames. And this 
case we're going to remove the fuel there and it will slowly run down until it stops and you could burn off any remaining pressure by opening the steam whistle and that's how you run the Willesco D4 and D5 mini steam engine good luck and have fun